Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and this is an On the Road with Nature at Your Door episode. I just left Myrtle Beach, South Carolina doing some episodes, and today I'm in Chattanooga, Tennessee, up on Single Mountain at my son's house. And here I've discovered, well, nature is wherever you go. <laughs> and in my hands I have a black racer, and I've always wanted to find and show you a black racer, because I see black snakes very commonly at my home in the Appalachian Mountains, and not so much black racers. Also, black racers tend to be really fast. So today, I've got a black racer, and in this episode, I'm going to tell you some things about black racers and how to distinguish them from black snakes or black rat snakes. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So first, a little bit about this particular individual. He was laying out next to a manhole with some cement warming up in the sun. And he's very, very, I would say slow. But further examination, I can see that, that he's been injured. And there, it looks like there was a constriction here around his neck, and I suspect in a piece of plastic. So again, one of those things, don't throw out plastic they can be very dangerous for wildlife. I rescued a black snake from a chicken coop once that had plastic netting around it. And plastic, like chicken wire, plastic netting can be lethal for birds and snakes and a lot of wildlife. And, and if I was to, to guess, I would say that this one was trapped in some plastic netting and somehow he was able uh, to get out of it. I'm going to keep him for observation for 24 hours and put him in a warm place with some water where he can worm up and see if he returns to normal. If not, I'm going to contact a local wildlife rescue to have him looked at. Black rat snakes versus black racers. This is a black racer. And superficially, they look very much like black snakes. And people often ask me, how do you tell a black snake from a black racer? Well, the first thing that I notice when I pick him up is that he is so smooth. And the reason he is so smooth is because black racers have very smooth scales. They don't have keels on them. While black rat snakes are keel, have keeled uh, scales, much like the rough green snake has keeled scales and the smooth green snake does not. This does not have keeled scales. They're smooth. Also notice how uniformly black the black racers are. While black snakes often have a pattern that's sort of remnant of their, their juvenile stage. Another distinguishing feature between black racers and black rat snakes is that their body, the black racer's body, is more cylindrical in shape. While the black rat snake has more of a flat belly, and a curvature for its back. And these are almost uniformly circular in cross-section. Black racers are often much faster than black snakes. Black snakes will often lay in the sun and kink up, <laughs> which is another feature. Black racers tend to be longer and slimmer than them. And so at the end of this video, I'll post a list of differences, put characteristics of a black snake and characteristics of a black racer. Diet-wise, black rat snakes are constrictors and eat primarily mammals and some birds and eggs. Black racers, on the other hand, take a wide variety of food, including insects, birds, eggs, amphibians, uh, even other snakes. So this is a black racer, smooth scales, round in cross section, fast, more slender than most black snakes. This particular snake is very lethargic. I uh, hope that uh, he'll, he will be able to recover. And of course, when you find a snake, it's always fun uh, to, to take a closer look at them. Remember a lot of snakes, not only the venomous snakes, but the non-venomous will bite. 
black racers are much more nippy than uh, black rat snakes, so they, they, can, they can turn around and give you a pretty good bite, though it is a non-venomous snake. Snakes, of course, are best left on their own. Normally, if I pick up a snake for an educational video, I'll return it immediately exactly back to where I found it. But this snake was obviously in distress, and I did end up taking him to the Chattanooga Zoo Reptile Rescue Center for treatment. Well, I hope you enjoy this episode of Nature at Your Door on the road here on Single Mountain in Chattanooga, Tennessee, with this amazing black racer. He's starting to warm up a little bit in my hands. Remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and remember I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. Thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at your door.